Hello Year 8, this is the first in a series of home learning videos we have produced to help you while studying from home. The idea is even though we cannot be together in school right now, this will help to guide you through the next set of Year 8 science topics. Top tips to get ourselves started every lesson. Firstly, don't have other web pages or windows open, they will distract you. Please answer all the questions that have been attached to show my homework. These will really help to make sure you fully understand. Turn off your phone. If you cannot bear to turn your phone off, please put it in a different room as this is your ultimate distraction. And lastly, try to complete this in one whole session because it really will, again, help to make sure you fully understand what we've covered. So. What are we going to cover today? We're going to start with some retrieval practice because we know it is fundamental that we go back to previous topics to make sure that we don't forget. We're going to look at metals and non-metals today. You will then have a short time to embed this to make sure you've really understood it before finally it's your chance to have a go before the next session. What are you going to need for today's session? You might want a mini whiteboard or a scrap piece of paper and a pen. You might also want some revision cards. The resources attached to show my homework. Now you can either print these or you can simply have them open on your screen. Later on you might want someone to test you. And lastly, the show my homework resources for you to practice later. Again, either printed or you can just have them up on a screen. Please pause and get yourselves organised. First retrieval practice slide of the day, what I'd like you to do is pause this video and have a go at the questions on some paper. Answers are now on the screen. Any questions that you weren't sure about, please make a note of either on revision cards or in your uh, retrieval practice notebook because this will really help you and it's fundamental that you test yourself on these this week. Pause and do that now. Next retrieval practice slide of the day, please pause and have a go. Answer shown again, make sure you pause this and note down any that you weren't sure about to come back later on in the week. Now I'd like you to grab the resources that are attached to show my homework either on your screen or in front of you now. Thank you. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the structure of a metal along with the properties of metals and non-metals. To start, we're going to recap the structure of a metal. So if I was able to zoom in and see the particles inside, I would see rows of positive metal ions that form a layered structure like this. I'm going to show their positive by putting a plus sign in each of them. Now, these are surrounded by what we call free electrons. Sometimes they're described as delocalized electrons. So we could say there's a sea of delocalized electrons. So to summarize, we have layers of positive ions, positive metal ions surrounded by delocalized electrons. Now we're going to have a look at the properties of metals. So first, what are free delocalized electrons? Let's write the following. Electrons that are able, 
electrons that are able to move freely. So they can zip round that metal. What are the properties of metals? First, shiny. Next, good conductors of heat and electricity. Malleable. So malleable means to be able to bend and shape. So I'm going to put that in brackets. Bend and shape. Ductile, ductile, that means can be made into a wire, can be drawn out into a wire. So, made into wire. And lastly, solid at room temperature. Next question, why are metals good conductors of heat and electricity? Please write, delocalized electrons transfer energy through the metal by bumping into metal ions and other delocalized electrons. Last question, what are the properties of non-metals? First one, dull, so they don't have that shiny appearance. Poor conductors of heat and electricity. Brittle. And last one, solid or gas at room temperature. Let's take a minute or two just to look into why metals have those particular properties. The first one is let's have a look at why metals are good conductors of both heat and electricity. Now, the reason for that is that it comes back to those delocalized electrons. So let's start by drawing our structure of the metal once more. So if you remember, we have those positive metal ions showing their positive by putting a plus in the middle and they are surrounded by those delocalized electrons that are free to move around. So the reason they're good conductors comes back to these delocalized electrons and the idea that they are able to move around the metal. So as one end of the metal is transferred energy, transferred energy, these delocalized electrons begin to move around the metal, bumping into positive ions and other delocalized electrons. This then transfers the energy along 
the metal, meaning that they are good conductors. The second property I want to take a, mi a minute to talk about is why are they both malleable and ductile? Remembering that malleable means to be able to bend and shape and ductile to being able to draw into wires. Now, this is all to do with this layered structure. So if we remember the positive metal ions are in these rows. Again, showing their positive by putting a plus in the middle. They are surrounded by these delocalized electrons. Now, when we bend and shape a metal, these layers are able to slide over each other. So it might look something like this. They're still positive metal ions, but these layers have been able to slide, meaning that I have been able to bend or shape my metal. Now, my delocalized electrons are still there. And as we know from earlier, electrons have a negative charge. And so they are attracted to these positive ions because we know opposites attract. So they act a bit like glue, holding the whole structure together, meaning that it can be bent and shaped. It is now time for you to have a go at embedding the information covered in the video. You could do this using the self-test look, cover, write, check method and then possibly ask someone at home to test you verbally. Please pause the video and do this now. We've now come to the practice section. On Show My Homework, the slot one questions are attached. Now you can either print these or complete them on the screen. If you can't access them on Show My Homework, they'll appear at the end of this video. Please complete these questions ready for the next lesson as answers will be given. If you're stuck, make sure you look back at your notes or in your STB. Thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you again tomorrow.